Welcome to the Academy course, RST Installation Guidelines. In this course, you will learn what you need to pay attention to when planning and installing IP-protected connector systems in order to ensure a permanently safe electrical installation in outdoor areas. Electrical installations in outdoor areas have the particular pitfalls. Decisive for the longevity of an installation is in addition to the selection of suitable materials, a maximum of care in handling the system components. It is important to understand what is going on in detail and what effects a non-professional installation has. Many users see the designation IP68 as a carte blanche for the safety of their installation, regardless of the type of installation. This may well be true for products as good as new, but what happens over the years? All materials are subject to aging, even connectors. Sensitive areas are seals in the area of the plug face and the cable gland. High temperatures due to direct sunlight, high UV concentrations and other weathering influences, but also chemicals affect the seals. Not to forget mechanical stress and biological influences from bacteria, fungi or animals. The cable is also affected, especially if it is used outside its specifications. This is an overview of the relevant IP protection classes of the RST installation system. The first code number of the protection class describes the protection against foreign bodies and contact. Dust-tight systems with complete protection against contact are specified with 6. The second code number has the following meaning in detail. 1 to 4 is not relevant for VLAN RST systems. 5 specifies the protection against water spray from a nozzle at any angle. 6 specifies protection against strong jets of water from all sides. 7 specifies the protection against temporary immersion in a maximum depth of 1 meter for a maximum of 30 minutes. 8 specifies the protection against permanent immersion. For the RST system, this means a maximum depth of 3 meters for a maximum of 2 hours. 9 specifies the protection against water during high pressure or steam jet cleaning. This is the highest achievable protection class according to IEC 60529. It is always important to correctly assess the required IP protection class. Let us assume that a connector is to be inserted into a luminaire in the open air for power supply. By definition, the choice is IP54 protection. This means splashing water from all sides. However, a closer look at the ceiling area reveals that it is sometimes completely covered with water for weeks. This is due to a small reservoir that is located between the pipe and the seal. After a rain shower, this space fills with water and remains there. Over time, the water penetrates into the interior of the housing via capillary action. This effect is further enhanced by vertical installation of the plug connector or device connection. Water is repeatedly fed through the pipe to the ceiling area, which is often submerged for weeks during rainy periods. Without measures to avoid this situation, protection class IP68 must be used accordingly. The penetrated water also freezes in winter and contributes to accelerated aging. Underground installation of RST systems Direct burial of the system components is not possible because connectors must be provided with suitable additional protection and be accessible for inspection, testing and maintenance. Installation pipes and floor tanks can be the solution. Here, care must be taken to ensure that the water is drained off safely by means of suitable drainage measures, for example with the aid of a gravel bed. Covering the components with leaves, bark mulch or stones is not a problem as long as the drainage of the water is taken into account. 
flexible laying of the cable. In case of a possible abrasion of the cables, example given for construction site lighting, event technology or similar temporary applications, wear of the assembled cable and the plug connections must be taken into account and checked. Submerging the system. The system components are designed for outdoor use with the focus on protection against water jets. The connector system is not designed for proper operation underwater. Unscheduled immersion is only possible within the specification. Horizontal mounting position. If the unit is to be used outdoors for a longer period of time, a horizontal installation position must be selected to ensure that the water can drain away. If this is not possible, an additional cover should be used for protection. The cable routing also plays an important role. The cable must be laid in such a way that the water draining off it is not led to the cable gland, but drips off beforehand. Additional protection against weathering. Installations that are directly exposed to the weather age much faster. The service life can be significantly increased by suitable measures. In the sequence of events up to the failure of the installation, material fatigue is the most important factor. Only then does water ingress occur. The greatest influences on the material are UV radiation, ozone, aggressive gases, salt mist and high temperatures. As far as possible, the components including the pipes should be installed protected from direct sunlight. In general, the user must ensure that all components used are suitable for the intended application. Use of end caps. All open slots must be protected against the penetration of moisture and dirt. This applies to the installation, but also the storage of the components in humid rooms or outdoors. Appropriate end caps seal the slot securely against foreign particles and moisture. Heavy soiling and insertion forces. Before plugging in, make sure that the contact area and sealing points are free of foreign particles to ensure the function of the plug connection. Before putting a connection, it is therefore recommended to remove any dirt in the plug-in area. At temperatures far below freezing point, the plug forces increase due to hardening of the seal. This must be checked for the individual application. Mechanical load. Avoid kinking the cables in the strain relief area. The applicable guidelines for laying cables must be observed. Tensile forces on the contact points of rigid conductors larger than 2.5 square millimeters are avoided by first bending the cable and then further processing it. Mechanical bending movements in the strain relief area must be absorbed by suitable measures, for example cable clamps. The selection of the suitable cable is of utmost importance for a safe and long-lasting operation of the installation. We offer the low-priced H05VVF cable as standard, but its field of application is limited to indoor use. This cable is not suitable for outdoor use and permanently damp or wet rooms. The H05VVF cable is often used indoors where there is dirt, but usually not damp or even wet. The protection against dust, IP6X, is the main focus here. Temporary wetness for cleaning purposes is possible. Outdoor installations without special requirements can be realized with the rubber hose cable HO7RNF, whereby it must be checked whether additional measures, such as laying in installation pipes, are necessary. Usually little attention is paid to the maximum service temperature, which is the result of the ambient temperature plus the self-heating caused by the current flow. The HO7RNF, the enhanced version, offers improved protection. For higher requirements, such as for shipbuilding or solar technology, the choice of a suitable cable or seal must be discussed with us.
An often underestimated phenomenon occurs due to the capillary effect of pipes. If, for example, a line is defective at one point and water can penetrate, the water will be drawn through the line right into the connector. This happens faster than expected and over long distances. However, not only injuries to the lines, but also an unprofessional installation at the other end of the line can lead to this situation. In order to prevent the transmission of moisture through the cable system or the penetration of moisture into devices, RST connectors can optionally be supplied with contact seals to achieve longitudinal sealing. Components with longitudinal seals are identified by an L in the second digit of the article number. Longitudinal seals may only be used on one side of the plug connection, in male or in female connector. Thank you very much for your participation in this Vcademy course. Remain successful with VLAN systems. Discover a new perspective.